botulism. Next thing you know, boom, you're sick. Botulism will take you down. The good one from one of the listeners. He said you brought up hibachi. Be careful, you might get hibachulism. Okay, now we're funny. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Lord, we love you and we praise your holy name. You are worthy of praise. Hey, have you ever gotten food poisoning before? Yes. What, what happened? Uh, I was coming back from Roswell uh, after I was hunting aliens for the show. It didn't hit me till I was over Dallas and or over Texas. Something hit me and it was awful. So I go to the bathroom. I mean, I'm queasy and it just it hit me hard. So I go to the bathroom and this is when you know my, remember my story about getting stuck into the uh, airplane toilet in yeah. the bathroom when they yeah. were landing. Yeah. And, and I'm in there like doing this. That was the time that, that I was in there f from food poisoning, throwing oh up and gosh. using the bathroom. I'm landing like this. I'm I'm going and you know your pants are down so you. <laughs> you know, you're trying to hang on like this, and you throw over like, <laughs> oh, you my know. God. oh, it was awful. Hey, have you, either of you guys ever had uh, food poisoning before? <laughs> yes. You have? I yeah. threw up eight times that night. I didn't make it down the stairs at my dorm. I threw up all over the stairs, and all my friends saw it happen, so they were all, of course, like taking Snapchats. What about you, Greg? You ever had food poisoning? One time. I must have got some bad beer because I got sick and I drank like 24. That's a big shocker. And uh, oh, it's a joke. I'm kidding. I I've eaten problems. something and it also it just it tear you up, but I ain't never had the official, oh, I'm sick with food poisoning. Hey, Holmes, what's your food poisoning story? I was at a, con a work conference in Atlanta and I had my wife with me. And we were at a very nice restaurant. And we were all dressed up. I think I even had a tie on. Amanda was in a dress. Was in the car driving uh, to the hotel and it, it hit me. And it was uncontrollable. It was vomit like no other, all inside the car, which made it worse. I could, it was so uncontrollable, I could not open the car door, or the window, anything. Yes, while I'm driving and everywhere. I had no control over my body whatsoever. Okay, well, he sent out an email saying that, you know, he didn't agree with that. They line up outside his door, and when he comes there, you can't play on there because there's so much cussing. They're so disrespectful. They're yelling. He's trying to have a conversation. I listen to you, and you listen to me. You no. don't have to have the email. We don't care. They're yelling F this to him, and, I'll, and, and of course they end with a hey, hey, ho, ho. So and so's got to go. They start that. Oh, they need a new rhyme. I'm so I'm, done with the hey, hey, ho, yeah, ho. I'm with Greg. Got we got, go. yeah, there's other things that rhyme with go. <laughs> hey, hey, ho, ho. Greg is a big bu yeah! Uh, what was she was screaming when that person was up there speaking at oh, that university? Oh yeah. Um, what was it? Oh, oh, get that? your hate off of our campus. Get your hate <laughs> yeah, off of our campus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something, Something like, that. like that. I'm missing. I'm missing the quote exactly, but I will play it right now. There, there's a group of of young adults, and I use the word adult loosely. They don't have respect for authority. Look, you can protest, you can let your opinion be heard, but there should be a civility and a general respect for people who are older than you and people in authority, and we don't have that. And when a loss of respect for authority infiltrates a society, it turns into chaos. And then, of course, ultimately, then you lose the ultimate respect uh, for the ultimate authority, and that's God. Can I tell all the, the Lily White, far left, you know, campus dwelling, mom and daddy money sucking uh, liberals, Look, you're not selling out if you bathe. People who don't bathe, I love a shower. I I'll take you. multiple. Showers. I take two a day. Sometimes I don't three, depending on what's people going on. who can just go for days. I can't sleep if I don't take a shower. The bed shower, four beds to get clean, the morning was to wake up. That does call for a shower. Yeah, yeah. Right then. yeah. Well, if done correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you 
going to take the last shot? LeBron or Michael? What kind of shot is it? Right. Because if, if, you want, if they want to go down the floor and hit somebody shoot up one from the free throw line or beyond, I'm going MJ. Yeah. If you want somebody to take it coast to coast to the rim, I'm going LeBron. Right. Or back it in? Yeah. What is it? These Vermont brownies. They look good. The Vermont Brownie Company. I don't mind if I do. But you say Vermont? Vermont. I say Vermont. 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 You're saying Vermont. Vermont. Yeah, probably Vermont. I don't know why I said Vermont. You said Vermont. 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 Look what I just realized. It looks like Greg is wearing the cat in the hat hat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's totally on accident. Look, look at Greg. This is all about you. It's just like the Green Goblin flying around in spider. Yeah, I've seen that. Check this guy out. Is this real? Y'all, the future's here. Guys, that is the, the Green Goblin. Yesterday's future is here today. Driving test, just had my fourth one uh, pass the driver's test. So we got four all driving now, everybody's on the wrong. So I, uh, taxi cab, we're gonna be over now. I, I think I took a driver's test in a station wagon, but I passed, wasn't real complicated, wasn't a very hard test. Didn't really prepare for some of the things that were out there. To this day, I don't think anybody's learned how to merge. It's not what if I had story. type disease? <laughs> I had something and my nose grew like this. And you had to hold it. I had to hold it. And every now and then I'd have to wipe it. And every day it was running. I'd be like, that smells good, man. I got a collar challenge. All the way up, turn it up for one segment. Look, look at Greg, he can't stand it, it's killing him. <laughs> what do you mean killing him? Button button all the way up, turn it up. Button. Bubba, if you could get just a little piece of white right there, I would confess my sins to you. you know, Father Mulcahy. <laughs> Father Mulcahy. Too much jocularity. <laughs> By the way, Speedy, your collar did go down. You're well, out. You're out. out. Not on purpose. You're out. You're not on purpose. It just it went down. You're, you're it's out. not. It's not firm. You got to rub our feet now. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I you just... lost your own challenge. You lost your own challenge. <laughs> you can't make up the rules of the challenge as it, you go. It wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, if it accidentally falls, I must have turned my head and that. it fell. That's a, that's I what did. You, you went back before. there. I said that I went over all the rules I, back I'll there. I'll ask Greg. If I, I made rules. that up. Paul, if you lost the next segment, yep. you have to hold this the entire segment. Yep. All right, Speedy. Since you lost your own challenge, you got to rub Greg's feet. Greg, come Greg, on in. You're not doing ball. that. Yeah. Either that or, or jump on that box. Yeah. And just fall back. Yeah. Let's go. 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 Let's go.